Hi everyone, how are you doing? I told you I'm going to give you updates uh, concerning what we do and especially the update that has to do with the law enforcement in Nigeria and then we'll back it up with uh, with a petition to their equator if they don't do the right thing. The first update is on um, criminal allegation against Bale of Atashi if you do well during the uh, by the complainant Abiola Muhammad. Then we we told you it happens at a Meko police station. And after our petition, initial petition to the Commissioner of Police in Ogun State, they sent the 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 petition to Ayetoro Divisional Equator Area Commander to look into the case. The last time we were there, the area commander was telling us it's civil. I said, how oh, this is a civil? Someone they beat, they assaulted, they almost killed the person. They fire. You you to the your police officers to testify to it. They have to rush this man to the police to the hospital. At the long run, he said, okay, on Monday we should come back. But Monday yesterday was uh, a public office uh, holiday and uh, he sent his men to the scene of crime. And uh, they said today, um, today on Tuesday, uh, by two o'clock, they will call them to come. But we yet to receive their message. And then we have, uh, we have said that definitely by tomorrow we have to be there. So I will still give you updates as things is going. It's just very unfortunate that we have to do this before police will know what to do. It is not supposed to be like this. If they actually want to do their work, they know we cannot teach them their work. It is their job. And this is a police institution that I've been doing this since how many years ago. So we are not yet supposed to be telling them what to do. Everything they need to do is there in the Criminal Justice Administration. So if we are not supposed to tell them, they know they are only just doing it because it's involving some kind of sheaf. And I don't see Bali as sheaf. I see them as, I don't want to disrespect anybody, but majority of Bali now are just there as thugs, as what do we call these people that uh, um, that goes into people's land, their property. I know that in Yoruba, but I don't know what that is called in English. So the second case, um, oh, the second update is concerning the civil defense. I know I didn't say much about this case when I came on the social media because of the conditions surrounding the case. I, t I only just say, oh, they, 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 our, our mother should be closer to their girl child. I didn't say much about this rape thing. Should I call it rape or should I call it defilement? It's rape. Any, any sexual penetration that you do with a minor, whether consent or it, she did not give her consent, it's rape. Whether she give her consent or she doesn't give her consent, as long as she is under age, it's rape. So let me call it defilement by her own father. It's so pathetic. So that's why I didn't want to, I want to protect the image and the identity of the girl involved. That is why I didn't say much. I didn't even say anything. I expected my members to involve the police department, their child um, abuse uh, department, and the Ministry of uh, Women Affairs and the courts. That is what is in the book. But I don't know why they chose the civil defense. But I asked them. When they told me, they said, oh, this case, I was like, okay, so what's the next thing to do? They said uh, they've reported the police uh, to the civil defense and they've gone to arrest the, the man. 
I said, why civil defense? Why civil defense? When the civil defense came on board, we appreciate what uh, the Dr. Adi Abulurin did initially. The way it started, and in fact, I was looking up to see civil defense as an option to police. Oh, the man really tried. Kudos to him. Kudos to all he has done for people. But unfortunately, they've digressed all this time. They start, we, we fought the other time, some couple of years ago, when they went to do illegal arrest. You went to do illegal arrest. If you don't even investigate the case, you, you, you paraded the suspect to, as a criminal. That was the first thing I said. This is not supposed to be. This is very wrong. I thought they've learned their lesson, but no. They arrested the culprit. Keep it for some time. They said they investigated and they found out that this he actually committed the crime. If you cannot prosecute, why don't you just transfer the case to the police? You did not do that. The next thing is to package everything. You told the corporate everything he can do. How to... I'm not saying, making an allegation that you collected money from the corporate. But the question I will ask you is why don't you do the needful to me you didn't disappoint me because i already told my members the police the uh, uh, civil defense has a mandate to prosecute the vandals i don't know when they've started prosecuting people i don't even know if they have a prosecutor in the in the in the, in the magistrate court or the high court they only prosecute the vandals at the federal high court that is what i know but they said they, they always do, there's an arrangement on the ground where they go to the Minister of Justice. I said, that is, you know, akin to going to your room or going to your house using back door. That is not, I'm, I'm not sure. I think they should, they should teach me that. They should tell me if I'm wrong. And then even if you don't, now, if you don't have the mandates to do the right thing, you can refer cases. You can refer cases. You have the right to refer cases to the sister agency. Please, this is our uh, our update. This is uh, our investigation. This is what we have done. Please, this person should be prosecuted. I expect them to do that. But they ke they kept this copy for some time, and the next thing I heard is they released the copy to the society. They gave the names of their key, the, the, the witness, all their details. I don't know why you do that. You gave all your details to the culprit. And the culprit went back to threaten those involved. That the court are still going to come to testify against this man. I was like, I was so, I was so upset. And I said, and there's some bloggers, you know, they took the case up, they, they said it, which I'm against so. Because if this person, the, the, the girl, in, in the victim, is an adult, that's different. But I, I also query my own people and they denied it. They said, no, we do not go to the bloggers. I said, okay, good. And instead of the civil defense to do the right thing, I was hearing that they are coming, calling on my members to come. For what? Do the right thing. And then they gave me the update that, okay, the case has been taken to the Minister of Justice. Why are the culprits on the streets? I said, okay. And something else came up. And they said, okay, this person was threatening them. I expect my member once again to go to the police to report a case of threatening of life. But they went back and okay, I think they called the the um they called the legal department, a lawyer working with the civil defense, and they want to say, come, 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 come to the to the uh let's go and report at our intelligence department. They will document the statement. They got there and it's it like it became rowdy, like you are in the marketplace. Even the police is more decent than that. They will welcome the complainants. 
they will document what is your complaint on the counter. They will appoint an IPO to investigate the case. The IPO will be detailed to, to do the further uh, documentation, writing the statement, and they will invite the, uh, the, the respondent to come. That is normal uh, 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 criminal justice administration process. If the, they cannot get in contact with the complainant, uh, the, the respondent, they will go and invite him to come and say his own side of the story or to come and deny it or write a statement. And then uh, by coordinator in Auguste said, okay, okay, if everything is like this, I want to see the, uh, the, the commandant. And then they said, no, 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 you can't see the commandant. This is a normal civil servant public servant is supposed to be accessible to the least person in the society. Civil dissent needs to be trained and retrained. Please, you can call the police, the, the least in the police to go and train them. If I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you. I like the agency. When they started, I hope they can build, I thought they can build on the legacy left by the founding members. I think they could, they could be more decent, they could more, you know, do this accordingly. Respect people, respect the, uh, the, the, the comrades, respect activists, respect the complainers and ordinary people on the streets. Follow due process. I don't know if you have the that uh, right to prosecute all criminal. What do you even know about criminal criminal codes? What do you know about administration of criminal justice system? What do you know about the laws? And then all you can do is I cannot write state. I cannot write statement for these people. You make it so very. So I'm not going to say too much. Because this is not a social media issue. I'm just saying this so that I can get to the equator and to the Commandant General of the Civil Defense in Abuja. Don't worry, sir. Our letter will be packaged and written very details. And we will use first class mail, Korea system to send our letter to your table. Just in case it won't get to your table, that's why I'm doing this. Just in case we send our letter and one uh, one subordinate pick our letter and tore it and, and, and throw it away. That is why I'm saying this. And I will continue to say this until this case ends or eventually get to where we want it to get to. Why is Nigeria like this? A culprit has been apprehended. A father raping, defiling, assaulting his own underage girl. Somebody came out and reports this cases, the case. We discover and the, the uh, civil defense, they call themselves one of the paramilitary office in the Nigeria to investigate and prosecute. You need to tell us. The lawyer in that command need to come out to tell us that he actually or she actually or whoever in that position have the right to prosecute this case. If they don't have the right to prosecute and they are doing messing up this case, this is perversion of the course of justice. And it has its... Go, go to the criminal code and check. Go and see the implication of perverting the course of, the course of justice. Civil defense, all of you involved, go and check your criminal code well. This, the commandant general of the civil defense should let us know if truly they have the right, they are men, and their, their legacy uh, uh, department have the right to prosecute cases like this. 
If not, everyone involved should be taken to book. And then with immediate effect, if you cannot do anything, refer this case to the police. We know them very well. We know their work. They, they are not so secretive about like, like you. If everybody will say, I want to see the commandant. And this, the, the rank and file is saying, no, you cannot see this commandant. Why? For what reason? Why is he there as a commandant? What is his duty in that office preventing him to see people? These are taxpayers. These are, that is the reason they gave you that mandate to become a paramilitary agency in Nigeria. Maybe you should tell us that you are not involved, you are not part of that system anymore. You should tell us we cannot prosecute anymore. You have to tell us the truth. Because anything less of truth is lie. So, I'm just saying this. That our letters are coming. If you don't see our letter within this week or next week, please... Anybody that receive letter in Abuja should be called. In fact, we will want the letter to be signed for because we want to. We want to know who will sign for this our letter, and we we'll, will mention all the names of these people involved. And then at the end of the day, if the Commandant General of the Nigeria Civil Defense Corps did not do anything, we will also call him out, and we will go to National Assembly. And we'll go to the presidency. If they don't do it, yes, I will go. We will go out all over the world, United Nations, and uh, the, the 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 agencies that sit to girl shine in the world should listen to what is going on in Nigeria. This is how they mess up girl shines, and this is how you they kill girl shines in Nigeria. If a, a a government agency registered government agencies. Fail to do normal thing, protecting the child, protecting a child of 11 years. So I'm not, please, I'm going, now this time around, I want to follow, I will give you back to back, step by step information concerning this case. So don't worry, my name is Comrade Akumi Olayemi. I have office in Abekuta. I've worked with, with members of the civil defense in Abekuta, Ogun State. And I've equally worked with some of other departments in other states. But this time around, I mean, in fact, before I just left them, it's okay, if you tell me they can do this job, no problem. And they got all the information. In fact, I want you to write letter to that department asking for the case file. If they don't give it to you, then we will start another issue with them. All right? So please, I want you to follow this page and continue to. Let's monitor this this one. This one is especially. Let's monitor, monitor it together. Civil defense do the right thing. And those involved should be should be should be should be investigated i'm not saying they collected money but i think what will make a department to release the corporate and still give the corporate everything it can do just to make sure the case will not see the light of the day or maybe they are too they they too mess up with their own kids at home they defy their own kids at home i don't know because i don't know the reason they can give us that they they fail to do the the needful all right thank you very much and god bless you